英語を回帰する沈まない船にとって新たな始まりは相反する二つの意味を持つ終焉に封じられた無限の時間の中そういった争いは何度もあったそして最後の一戦ももうすぐ始まる彼女たちが唯一の可能性に触れ自分たちの物語を残すことを祈ってる私はそんな未来を夢見てるんだアイハイペリオンラムダシリフォー開始する。大した存在じゃない Hello, Captains. Hi, everyone. Huh? You look like you're in a good mood. Of course. Kiana and May's reunion in version 6.1 was absolutely fantastic. It has made me so happy. I can't wait to see what'll happen next. <laughs> Since you're so excited to get started, let's talk about the main story first. Perfect. During version 6.1's main story, the Hershers were stuck on the moon due to Project Stigma. But it also gave Kiana, May, and Bronya the chance for a long awaited reunion. With the help of the Hersher of Sentience, Durandal, and the others, they worked hand in hand to take on new challenges on the moon. Lots of characters made appearances as well, like Prometheus and the Mysterious Hair, Miss d e l n s h e r i a k who debuted in the version trailer. Someone has a keen eye. As a reward, I'm gonna let you in on some of the new story. Really? Let's hear it! Story Chapter 33 will be called In the Name of the Truth. The story will unfold around the Hersher of Reason and Hair, and we might even get to see an exciting duel between the two. Whoa! And as the exploration of the moon continues, the nature of Honkai and Project Stigma will gradually be revealed. More of the story will be available for captains to check out later. I can't wait to play the new version. As the story progresses, captains can follow the protagonist to explore the new, final crater area. A new map? That's great! Are there any new game modes for the story chapter? In version 6.1, I really got lost in the mining feature, and it was super fun. <laughs> There'll be plenty of new modes to play with. The artifact system Remains of the Old World will be released in story chapter 33. And you'll need to complete specific side missions to unlock it. You can check final crater artifact points via the artifact collection system and collect artifact shards at the artifact points. After collecting a certain number of shards, you can piece them into a complete artifact and receive corresponding rewards. In Final Crater, you'll also be able to take on the new challenge mode, Iron Mirage, where you'll play as Mark II and explore mysterious facilities left behind by an unknown civilization. The ruins are pretty intricate, and you'll find yourself avoiding dangerous electromagnetic fields and collecting mysterious shards as you go. You'll also have to correctly activate certain mechanisms to clear blocked paths and reach your goal. Of course, with the new area in game mode come new rewards. After the version 6.2 update, the Solium Storage Score milestone rewards will increase. In Core Refinement, collect a certain number of Solium cores to exchange for more rewards. Along with the main story event, there's another major update with the new version, right? That's right. The new SP Battlesuit Chrono Navi I Hyperion Lambda. I was shocked when I first saw her in the story. The once cabbage headed Ai Chen I knew has suddenly grown up, looking stunning and graceful. <laughs> Seems like you're a big fan. So, how about you introduce her to the captains? No problem. Chrono Navi, I Hyperion Lambda, is a mech type melee fighter dealing fire damage. She serves as a chakram wielding support that battles with agility while providing buffs to teammates. 
You can control Ai to hurl the chakram like a boomerang and continuously hit enemies. Ai is so agile in battle. And it looks like throwing the chakram as much as possible is key. That's absolutely correct. While in battle, she can cast her weapon skill to release a secondary chakram weapon, Imer, which flies back and forth. Hitting Imer with a basic attack or evasion will deflect it, sending it back for continuous attacks. I can also recover kinetic energy and provide buffs to teammates. As you deflect the weapon back, you'll hear the sound of metal clashing and see the amazing skill effects. That's so cool! When triggering her QTE or using kinetic energy to cast a charged attack, I will throw three chakrams in quick succession, which you can enhance by deflecting, causing them to stay close to the target and deal continuous fire damage. If she casts her ultimate now, the flames will reset and greatly enhance her chakram, extending her attack momentum and buff up teammates who are deployed afterward. Wow, seems like the general purpose super AI is good at fighting and giving support. Aside from Chrono Navi, the new weapon, Rudder and Dream, will also be released alongside its pry form, Rudder and Dream Lambda 1. These two weapons fit I perfectly due to their mechanical feel, plus the additional touches resembling a play button and barcodes. The pry form Rudder and Dream Lambda 1 has such a feeling of elegance, and it sports some pretty cool effects like plasma flames, so be sure not to miss it. And joining the supply pool together with the weapons is the new Stigma set. Wow, the Stigma set looks like a lot of fun. When did Cabbage Head become such a comedian? <laughs> Fingers crossed that Ai-chan won't turn Hyperion into a giant mess. With Ai's release in the new version, we'll also launch a featured event closely associated with her, the Honkai Salvation Log. Huh? Sounds like things are going to get intense. What's going to happen? No need to worry. In this event, you'll travel in the digital space with I Hyperion Lambda, or as she calls herself, Miss Administrator. Together, you'll seek the mastermind behind the crisis and fix in-game bugs in Honkai Impact 3rd. What? But I don't know how to fix bugs. No problem. You'll run into different little I-chans in different story areas. Each has unique abilities to help you explore and fight. The event features three areas, and after you've interacted with all the little I-chans in the current area and cleared the story stage, you will be able to explore the digital space freely. Like in Area 1, for example, you can explore with I-chan O and rely on her power to reach otherwise inaccessible areas. You might come across doors too small for you to enter but you can control I-Chan O to get through before using the skill to switch positions with I-Chan O. I see. So each area will have plenty of puzzles to solve, and every little I-Chan will have different abilities to help explore. That means I'll have to play to their individual strengths. Correct. And solving puzzles will get you Asterite and advanced skill materials. After clearing the story stage of the current area, you can spend data stamina to play daily repair stages, in daily repair stages, enemies from different areas will have different traits. But the little eye chan of the current area will be there fighting by your side. Cast the little eye chan skills to deal high damage to enemies and clear the stage with ease. Looks like there are also challenge stages for captains who love breaking limits, right? That's right. These stages will appear after making enough repairs to Hyperion. After defeating regular enemies, you can take on the stage boss and earn more points by dealing more damage within the time limit. After the challenge, you can get token rewards based on points earned. Little I Chan will offer you help too. And did I just hear something about rewards? You are gonna love the rewards this time. During the event, you can use these tokens to exchange for Midnight Absence new outfit, Spectral Raven in the event shop. You can also get crystals, Chrono Navi fragments, energy devices, and more. Wow! Raven's new outfit looks so uniquely stylish. The mischievous devil theme is a perfect fit for her. The big buttons are very childish, but the wings and the horns nod to her darker side. Other touches, like chains and bandages, help give off an even more dangerous and mysterious air. You really are the expert. But Raven isn't the only one getting a new look. There will be an exotic new outfit called Eternal Dance for Spina Astera. The outfit complements Rita by bringing out her elegance and glamour. It's both exotic and dreamy, and the starry sky goes very well with Spina Astera's celestial motif, 
with colors of white and gold further emphasizing her nobility. Plus, the visual effects are inspired by Rita's signature line. This is where stars converge. The outfit's main colors are purple and gold, while planets and constellations tie it all together. And depending on the moves you perform, you'll see different visual effects alternating and interacting with each other. I'm so excited! I can't wait to get it! That's all for outfits, but here's some more good news. During version 6.2, bonus event Beating Thunder will be available. Complete four specific missions during the event to get a Hersher of Thunder character card on the event page. After the version update, limited time top-up bonuses will also be available. You can top up a certain amount of crystals or bee chips and choose from one of the following. Hersher of Sentience rank up stamp, Stygian Nymph rank up stamp, or Ancient Legacies. In addition, supply cards, ancient willpower, and more rewards await you. After the version 6.2 update, Log in to get SP Battlesuit Chrono Navi Fragments, Crystals, and Asterite. And log in during the New Year event to get an emblem. After the version 6.2 update, Pry Arm Forging Level Limit will be lowered to 50. This will help make the fight against Honkai a lot easier for new captains. It's awesome! Captains who are level 50 and higher can now forge Pry Arms. After completing Breakthrough and reaching level 81, you can also increase the prior arm level limit. Weapons can be upgraded to level 65, giving them much higher combat power. However, captains who are level 80 or lower will still be unable to upgrade prior arms, and the level limit of prior arms will remain at 50. In version 6.2, there will be a major overhaul of the material system to help simplify things. After the version update, Sakura Shard, Twin Sakura Shard, Sakura Will, Greatsword Blade Piece, Titanium Barrel, and Micro Reactor will be converted to a new material called Fluid Alloy. And Nano Ceramic and Twin Sakura Will will be converted to a new material called Fluid Alloy Block. And Resin Converts, Smelted Core, Gold Pin, and Honkai Cube will be removed. That's great news! The simplified material system should be much easier to understand now. Developing characters and weapons will be a lot more convenient. That's right! And you can follow our official announcements for detailed rules regarding changes and conversions. We hope these changes will offer a better in-game experience for everyone. Captains, that concludes today's program. See you next time!